Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of To Read or Not To Read from the Rapid City Public Library. As I'm sure you're aware, it's February. No offense to February, but it's my least favorite month. And so I figured it would be a good idea to talk about books that bring you a lot of comfort, right? We've all got that favorite meal when it gets cold outside, we're ready for spring, but it's not here yet. Maybe it's mashed potatoes or casserole or some type of stew. The books I'm going to talk about today are a lot like that. They kind of wrap you up in a really comfortable, warm feeling at the end. I want to start out with the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows. This one takes place at the end of World War II, and there is an author named Juliet who's looking for a subject for her next book. And she stumbles upon a very unique cast of characters on a small Channel Island that was taken over by the Germans during the war. Uh, the whole book is told through different letters and telegram cables and diary entries. So you get all of these points of views of these very endearing and very eclectic cast of characters. The next one is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry, which pretty great title on its own. Uh, this one is by Frederick Bachman, and this one tells the story about a young girl and her grandma, who is kind of her, her closest friend. And when her grandma dies, uh, she ends up being left this stack of letters that she has to deliver to people that her grandma is apologizing to for things she did during their lifetimes. Again, you get a crazy cast of eclectic characters, um, and it goes back and forth between more serious topics and more imaginary topics, uh, but it's very heartwarming and one that you won't want to put down. And the last one I want to talk about today is The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. And this one kind of bounces back and forth between a couple different time periods, but there is a man who has undergone um, some serious loss in his life and has appointed himself the keeper of lost things. So every time he finds something on the street, he keeps it and collects it and catalogs it. And in some very extraordinary cases, manages to get it back to the people who lost it and hearing all about the different stories that are associated with those objects as well as the people he ends up sort of collecting uh, will have you smiling and in tears by turn. And every single one of these books, they have the kind of characters where you get done reading them and you're making dinner or you're driving across town and you think, oh man, who was I talking to the other day that I really wish I could just talk to them again. And then you sort of remember it was one of the characters from these books. So highly recommended. It'll give you a really nice comforting feeling in one of these cold evenings that we've been having this February. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope to see you back next week when we will have another episode of To Read or Not To Read.